Georgia Tech running back Jameer Gibbs. One of the more underrated running backs in college football, someone who I think is going to get a lot better. And we are going to be talking about him a lot more if Georgia Tech can take a step forward on offense. This is a guy who operates really well in the trenches, not just because he's a strong player. His power is not really the name of his game. It's quickness and speed. And his ability to make guys miss in tight spaces is something that can lead to some very special plays. Now, if his offensive line can help him out a little bit more this year, it's going to be a tough running game to stop for anybody. And we're going to look at one game today for, for him, and you're going to see that even some of the best players in the country on one of the best teams in the country have a tough time stopping him. Even when you play with good technique, you use your assignments well, you use leverage well, he's still able to make you miss. So Jameer Gibbs, let's go. First play against Clemson, just a play that's going to show off his vision and his ability to make something out of nothing. And we're going to see this a lot with Jameer Gibbs, uh, and especially if you go back and watch his film from last year. Because Georgia Tech wasn't the best at running the football or blocking for him, he had to do a lot of things by himself. Now, my biggest concern with him is, is he going to take that and try to use – his talent over trusting his blockers more we'll find out but it's one of those things where if his blockers can get better plays like this don't have to happen because he doesn't have to rely on his own talent to make a play now a lot of these plays should go for a loss of two to four yards or, or no gain but because he's so quick and he knows how to use his feet well these plays go for way more than they should. It's just insane some of the things that he can do. So you look at this play, first play of the game against Clemson. So Clemson, a team that made the college football playoff. You have guys like Brian Bercy. You have Mike Jones, who's at LSU now, Tyler Davis, Miles Murphy, KJ Henry, James Skalski. There's a ton of guys that are on this roster that are really, really good. And he makes them all pretty much look stupid. And we're going to see here, we're going to get his own play to the left. And Jones is going to come in and rush, essentially, or blitz, whatever, because his guy is going to go in motion and wipe himself out of the play, so he's not going to be part of it. And we're going to see that Jones should have him for a loss. He, as soon as he gets the ball, Jones is in great position. So you'll see... He's in position. Gibbs technically doesn't even have the ball. Now he has the ball, and this is the thing. There's nowhere to go here. Both of these guys have already beat their man. There's nowhere to go here. Now, I believe that Gibbs could make this happen, but because Jones is coming down here, he has two guys here, there's nowhere to go here. He's going to get tackled for a loss. He has the ball four yards behind where the ball was snapped, so this should be a four-yard loss, but it's not. So he w makes Jones whiff, and then we get a, a, a safety coming in, taking the inside route, and it's not a good enough angle to get a guy like Gibbs, which leaves this corner out here. And Gibbs doesn't always make the most exaggerated cuts because he keeps his center of gravity really, really close to his the center of his body. So you'll see here, there's no reason why this guy should get beat outside. He's a full body outside of where Gibbs is. But because Gibbs is so quick with his feet, now he can beat him. He's so quick. And his explosiveness, once he makes those kind of cuts, there's it's just dumb. And then you leave basically a guy bear crawling to hope that he can catch him. And it's just... A play that should go for negative four yards at first, maybe zero yards if the safety takes a different angle, and now it's a six-yard gain. And that's all It's all Jameer gives. It's just insane what he can do. Another play here where it just he makes a read, and then he just makes another guy look stupid. And it's just this is just part of an everyday thing for him. Every play, he's capable of making guys look dumb. And it doesn't matter. Again, like I said earlier, it doesn't matter if you're in position. It doesn't matter if you have everything plugged up, if you have the everybody in the right gaps. Jameer Gibbs is going to find a way to make you look bad. Now, 
this is a play where it's going zone to the right, and basically everything is filled up. You're going to have this gap filled, and there's no room between these two, and then this is filled too. And then you have a safety who's going to get chipped by the cornerback, which is enough to spring him free. So there it's enough for him to get to the edge. And then as we get to Darian Kendrick here, again, the same as last play. He's a full body on the outside. So instead of this time, instead of going outside, Gibbs is going to use a cut to the right and go inside. And even right here, it's just... Gary, Darian Kendrick can make this play. But because Gibbs is so quick with his feet, I mean, wa just watch his feet. Just a little cut there. Nothing, nothing super crazy. He doesn't. He's not exaggerating these cuts by any means. He just makes a quick cut, and it's what gets him outside. Now his quickness gets him to the outside, and then he makes a quick cut. And again, this if that linebacker gets him, if the safety doesn't get blocked, he's four yards, three, four yards behind the line of scrimmage. So this could be another loss. But because he is so quick and he's able to make guys miss. Well, we're going to talk about, like, these aren't even his best plays. These are these are just, like, natural, normal plays for uh, a Jameer Gibbs. And the fact that Georgia Tech can't find a way to get him free, like, it's going to be scary if Georgia Tech figures out how to get him more in the open space because he's already doing these things with basically using his own talent and making do with what he's given. Now, imagine if they have an offensive line that can open holes for him where he doesn't need to run – a hundred yards just to pick up seven. Another play here that just is, it's so much work for the little game that he gets, but it's just fun to watch. And again, I, I wish Georgia Tech would be able to figure this out and find a way. And now granted it's Clemson. So like, let's give some credit to Clemson. This is, they deserve it. But like, this is just dumb for how much work he has to do to get three yards. So it, it's just, you look at what he has to do just to get, into position to get three yards here. So first he has to avoid three guys. So when you when we stop this play here, right here, there there's four guys really that have beat their blocks. That's three whiffs here and a guy coming off the edge with another support guy in the bit behind. There's no way this should go for positive yardage. There's just no way. But I mean, you can make an argument that this edge guy takes a bad angle, which allows him to spring free, but Gibbs also goes backwards. And then you have this, another guy that's in good position, but misses the tackle because he's so quick. It's just insane what he can do. And this is all this work. The last plays that we've looked at, that's a total of 16 yards. He's done so much for this. And this one, he goes backwards to get three. It's just it's just crazy what he can do. There really needs to be a better way for him to be able to do it. And I, honestly, ACC team should be worried if he's able to get better blocking this year. Now, this is an example of what could be. Now, this is better blocking for him. So this is going to be what teams have to worry about this year. Because if Jameer Gibbs can get these kind of holes to run through, this is the type of production that he's going to produce on a consistent basis. So this is the fact that he's able to do this with the blocking that he's had, but also, you know, this is a better play for the offensive line. This is a better play for Gibbs because he doesn't have to do as much work. He's running downhill. He's not running sideline to sideline. And even though the original gap that he's going for isn't available, there's a reason you know, that he gets multiple options. But as you can see here, this is the gap that he is trying to run through. He wants to go through this one. And you'll see that Tyler Davis, who Tyler Davis does a great job of taking that gap away. This gap's going to open up, and Gibbs has some of the best vision in college football. So you're going to see that he notices that, and he's still able to pick up big yardage. So, again, not it's a better play for the offensive line. One of the options gets taken away because Tyler Davis is just one of the best players in college football, so that just is what it is. Sometimes that's just going to happen. 
But he picks a new gap. He sees that. And then from there, missed tackle after missed tackle. And then what a great way to finish the run. Just a hard, hard run, finishing, picking up extra yards after contact and not going down with arm tackles, making those guys miss, and then just requiring multiple bodies to take him down. Just a great overall run, and these are the runs that ACC teams really need to be worried about this year. These are the plays that make Jameer Gibbs uh, a special player, and special players make special plays, and a play like this is something that's going to go on a highlight reel and be absolutely insane to watch over and over and over again. Because when you watch plays like this, when there's literally nothing, like there's, it's the definition of there's nothing there. And even when he does break free, it's still a play that shouldn't happen. You know, right here, where are you going to go? There, and it's not because he's a bad player. It's not because it's like there's nowhere where maybe if you cut backside, which that's not really – an option, but it's not also not something that he's, he's unable to find. The only thing is this guy has leverage into that gap and this, and KJ Henry is coming around to make a play on the backside too. So this gap is covered. This gap is covered because there's no room here. One guy is taking up these two gaps and there's this guy on the outside. So there's no, and then you have a corner coming over here. So there's no, there's literally nowhere for him to go. There's nowhere for him to go here. I, I just, this is just a special play. So like here, there, a gap becomes available because this guy goes in here, but there's a safety right here that's picking up the extra gap. But that doesn't matter. So he literally jumps over his guy to make one guy miss. The corner comes in, he makes that guy miss. And then it, it's a 10 plus yard gain. It's just insane. Just sometimes you just have to sit back and, watch greatness and while Jameer Gibbs isn't on the most talented team in the country he's making plays like this look easy and now the one concern that I'll have with that is I, I really hope Georgia Tech obviously figures things out and is able to give him more of a consistent blocking scheme or better blockers because while a play like this is cool We've seen the amount of work that he has to do to make these plays is going to take a toll on him. He's going to be fatigued. He's going to have times where he's going to need a break. And at this point, like Georgia Tech's getting killed. So it doesn't really matter what he does because there's not enough of a, a depth on this Georgia Tech team to beat a team like Clemson. But imagine if he didn't have to do all this work just to pick up these yards. Now, yeah, it's spe a special play, but I really want Georgia Tech to realize that you could get him hurt because you're asking him. To, you're not asking him to do too much, but you are when your blockers aren't getting the job done like they consistently don't do for Georgia Tech. Now, they can figure things out, and then that makes Jameer Gibbs. It's really like a win-win. If you get better at blocking, Jameer Gibbs is going to have a better season. And he's still going to make those plays. And, and while, you know, I'm sure he thanks his blockers for doing what they do, there are things that Georgia Tech can do better. And it's maybe it's just selfish because I just want to watch more Jameer Gibbs highlights. But plays like this could happen on a consistent basis without him having to do anything super insane. So, again, I, I wish he didn't have to break two tackles at the line of scrimmage. I wish these were two tackles broken on the second and third levels, and then he's off to the races because we know he can be a home run hitter. We know he can be one of the best running backs in college football. It's just a matter of can his teammates help him out at that point. Jameer Gibbs is just insane. I hope that we get to watch these plays time and time again, and I'm not worried about him. I just worry that maybe the, the things that he does are going to take a toll on him and eventually catch up to him. If not, uh, and the Georgia Tech figures things out up front, then this is going to be one of the most exciting offenses to watch this year.